Once they've mastered the, the V drill off the T, you're going to want to take them through the process that you did with the contact drill and give them balls in motion. Balls that are moving towards them to allow them to establish a little rhythm, tempo, and timing. So make sure you, you have them stay at the V, extend to the V, don't let them cheat, don't let them roll out. You don't want their energy going this way. You want it going straight back up towards the pitcher's head and have it snap forward. And again, just as before, now we take it to balls in motion, same as before. We start 10, 15 feet away, give them balls in motion. They're going through the exact same process. They're going to load stride, heel drop. They're going to turn to the ball, contact point. As they turn into the contact point, again, looking for those subtleties. Weight transfer, making sure we have good weight transfer. You can see that she's light back here because she's not rotating. She kind of kicks the dirt up. There it is right there. She's rotating off this front side. Her head stays still. Hitter's box is working around her body. Ideal impact, and she's working long through her swing. Step and snap that bat head off. It's controlled, but there's a ton of power behind that. Now, I've seen kids um, knock the ball out of the yard by just simply pushing through to their V, controlling that energy so they're distributing it through the ball nice and clean. So we step and we turn and we get long through the ball, back up through the path. There is no wrist roll. She does a great job of leveling it out, getting up through the ball, matching the planes, the middle of the ball, the middle of the bat, working right back up through the ball. There's no wrist roll. She's square with her wrist at contact. She's got a great uh, position right in here and just does a great job with this. Notice how she's not carrying over and she's not falling over. She has um, really good balance. And when I talk about balance, I'm talking about balance. How well you balance on one leg we talk about balance. We don't talk about balance and you know anybody can have great balance when both feet are on the ground. We talk about balance. We're referring to how well we can rotate and how clean we are in our axis. Great hitters have great balance. Well great hitters hit off of one leg. Great balance is about where their weight is distributed and so she has great balance here. She turns through it and lets the bat head work up through the ball. So as before, use the distance that you're, you're pitching the ball from. Um, work from 15 feet on back to regulation and then you can work and increase speeds and velocity as their mechanics start to get clean. Once they're clean with their mechanics then you can start working on the velocity. And the velocity all that has to do with is rhythm, tempo, and timing. The stride foot. When that stride foot goes down. And so fast pitching, we start earlier. Uh, slow pitching, we have to hold that stride foot longer. We have to hover it. We have to hold it. We have to hold it. Once we go into our heel drop, it's showtime. So controlling that rhythm, tempo, and timing is a big element. And that is something that we will address um, and future videos. So for the purpose of this drill, have them clean up through the ball, load, stride, heel drop, and turn. Nice and controlled.